Hello and welcome to my third episode of my Java multiplayer tutorial series. And in this video, I am going to be working on the server. So let's create a new Java project. And we'll call this one server. Right. And we need a package. So first package we're just going to call and you can obviously name this whatever you like and I'm just going to call this one server and start by making a class called server so the first thing in here we need to do is make this run on a separate thread So now that we have it implementing runnable, we have a run method. So, and I'm not going to explain how threads work and stuff because that's something more basic. But let's start by creating some variables for the server. So we need a port to run on and the whole server itself. So we'll have a server socket and we'll import that and we need a boolean called running and it's not going to start off running so Let's set that to false, and we will create a constructor for our server. All right. Now, I'm just going to take in a port here, and this dot port equals port, and let that catch up. All right. Now we need to create our server socket. So try server socket equals new server socket and we'll put that as a port. Um, right, it's not going to show up until we right. and we have an IO exception here. And, uh, just going to auto import that. All right. And we will just print the stack trace if something goes wrong there. Now, in order to start the server, oh, I'm missing a void. Okay. <laughs> so, what this does is it's going to create a server using the port that we provide. And now we need to start the server. And to do that, we're going to start the thread. So this dot start. Okay. So now that we have the thread starting here, it's going to call the run method. So inside our run method, we are going to have running equals true so we know that it's running and while the server is running and this is in a different thread so it won't block your main game or whatever we're going to create a new socket and we're going to accept a connection here I totally spelled that wrong. <laughs> Alright. Import socket. Alright. So that will make that. Now we need to catch the another exception. Alright. So in here we're just gonna print the stack trace again. Pretty basic stuff. 
and create a new method called socket. All right. So in here we're going to just initialize the socket that we're accepting. And in here we'll create a new connection which is going to be a class that we have not connected yet or we have not created yet and it's going to take in the socket and that's going to be a new thread too okay and now let's create a shutdown method so shutdown I'm missing that again So, running equals false, and we will try to close it. So try server socket. Nope. Server socket dot close, and I O E exception. All right. So now inside here, we are going to do the normal stack trace. And yeah, so that should be why don't you it for it? And we're gonna call shutdown right here. Just in case. Okay, so now let's create a new class called connection. Okay, so now we need to make this implement runnable too. It's oops, runnable. I'm spelling that wrong. We need to imp. imp. There we go. All right. We'll make this have that run method. And in here, all right, so it's already got that. Now let's create that constructor. And it's gonna take in a socket. All right, so that's working. So now we have it accepting the socket connection, and then where you are creating a new thread to run that connection so that we can still accept new players into whatever game. So in here we're going to have a socket obviously and right. so we got our socket and we're going to have the input and output streams. So we have object input stream in and private object output stream out. Alright, so I'll just auto import those two. If you don't know how to do the auto import, it's control shift O on Windows at least. I think it's probably command shift O or Mac probably. Not entirely sure. And we needed an ID for our connection. So in here, we are going to do this dot socket we'll socket, so we can keep track of our connection. And I'll just set the ID to zero right now. That may change later. In here try and create our new streams. So object input stream socket dot get input stream and 
in equals new object input stream socket dot get oh wait it'd be output and we need to change this to so what's on object output I reverse these. Okay. <laughs> and all fixed. Okay. Now we need to do catch the exception, as always. Now, in our run method, we need to do, we've got this all in a try and catch. A lot of things can go wrong with this, <laughs> apparently. Uh, okay, now, now we'll need a while circuit dot is connected. So while the player is connected, we will do object data equals in dot read object. So we'll try and receive data from the server or from the client technically, and we will do something with the data there in the next video. But next thing class not found exception so we're going to be sending objects across it so if the object doesn't exist on the server side but it does on the client side we'll get an error saying that it doesn't exist now we have two more methods to add into here on this public void close so we can close the connection properly Got to do with the try here, and we'll do in dot close, out dot close. So we close our streams, and then we'll close the socket and catch the exception again. Right. So we have that done. Last one we need to do is public void send the object. Object. Okay, so this was going to be our method and how we're going to send data to the client. So we need out dot write object packet. So that's going to send the object, and then we're going to make sure it sends by calling flush. So that'll flush that stream out. And catch the exception again. And that should work. So that's pretty much all I'm going to cover for this video. And so we created the server, uh, creating the object, starting it accepting connections and starting the new threads for all the game logic pretty much and then shutting down the server and in our connection it's creating the streams to communicate with the client and doing all the game logic by receiving data and handling all that and closing it and then sending the data so Thank you all for watching, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.